Hey guys, I've got a special guest on the channel today. We have. Da -da -da -da! Hello! We have Dawn, lead singer of the, well, female vocal of the Nightwish tribute band that we play in called Not Quite Wish. We're going to react to. First time ever, right? Never heard this song before. Ghost Love Score Official Live. So we're going to check this out. We'll stop it at random and discuss what we hear. And we'll go from there. Yeah, why cool. not? Let's do it. Here we go. And I think everything's recording. Just about. Andy looks just like that when he's playing with the headband on. He does. Our drummer. He? Oh, he does. <laughs> Do you know, I've never noticed that before. Yeah, he does. <laughs> well, <laughs> even the angle of his arms. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. There I am. There you are. Put this on one of those impossible to headbang videos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> Here it come. There you are. <laughs> Pause it there, I think. So yeah, what do you make of it so far? With mm. your seasoned musicians experience and thoughts? Because <laughs> if I get talking, I will talk a lot. So I'll let you start. I've You'll noticed. I've watched yeah. some of these videos before, you know. Oh, why do you bother? I don't know. <laughs> someone's got to. Someone's given it. Yeah, someone's got like. yeah. No, I, I, I just love the way this song opens. It mm. still gives me hairs. Yeah. Know, written on the back of my neck every time I hear it. I don't, I don't know what it is about it. It's a very, very cleverly written song. Bloody beautifully written. Because mm. like, there's all sorts of, you know, long rock songs and like opera pieces and stuff like that. But mm. this one's just massive. It's beautifully constructed. What I like about it the most is it doesn't strike you as a 10 minute song. No. Really? No. Whereas you listen to other like long rock songs, like there's tons of rock metal, like call it way well guys, I, I don't care what genre you call it, it's rock, metal, it's fine. But um, there's tons of other songs like it, like I remember when I first started getting into music, I listened to Green Day and things like that, so they had Jesus of Suburbia, mm. which definitely sounds like five different little chunks of songs slammed together. You could say that. This yeah. one's a complete piece and it's really cool. Mm. And it's so trippy musically as well. I get the feeling that as like well articulated musically it is, I think it was written by gut because you listen to the time signatures and it's like no one would write like that just to sit and write. Like that has to be by feel, I think. Mm. Like you listen to it, the way it starts and everything, I'll play it, I'll show you what I mean. It's just such an odd one. We start off, it's like in 6-8 or something. Like that's such a weird thing. And then when you go to the section where it moves to 4-4, four, four, and it's still pretty similar time signature, but it changes, it doesn't translate one to one. I don't know how to articulate it, but it's just a weird change. But Where it works. Are we? Yeah, it works beautifully. Totally it doesn't feel weird. Mm -mm. Here we go. I'll show you what I mean. Yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Like I say, it's not a complete mm. one to one translation between the different feels, but it's just weird. And it's the simplest of feels. Yeah. From one to the other. Yeah. I'll tell you, it's and that it's simple. Slick. It took me hours to suss out what was going on with that <laughs> when we were learning. I was like, what the fuck are they yeah, doing? Let's carry on. Go on, floor. What a girl. She's so young here. Not that she looks old now by any stretch. That's what I was getting at. <laughs> Very clear. She does right? look a bit younger here. Yeah. She still looks. There's something so different in her confidence on stage mm -hmm. here compared to now. She's a little bit more gentle. Yeah. Definitely. And there's something quite timid about her. Actually. Yeah. Even though she's really pushing that vocal. Yeah. And it's beautiful. There's a delicacy. To there it. is. Yeah. 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 Or delicateness. And I don't know if that's a bit lost now, actually. What music? Uh, just a little bit. That's an easy job. That's the one thing they've got that 4x12 there for, I swear. I don't think it's even plugged in. <laughs> it's just the perfect height to hold a beer. We've got to get one of those. Yeah. Authenticity rules. There's tons of breaks in this, so you know, plenty of time for chugging. Those lungs. I 
I mean, I don't know how much mixing's going on while she's singing this, but to be fair, even with mixing to sound that yeah. good, you've got to be good. Right? She's freakishly consistent with and her technique, with her delivery. Yeah. That, every note's delivered so solidly. Yeah, as a performer, as like a vocal mm. instrument, everything's on point. I love that. They're like little ants yeah. touching. Hello, hello, <laughs> hi, here I am. They communicate by feel. <laughs> Oh, listen to that. Phenomenal sound. And she's still, she's concentrating on every single note that she's doing yeah. there. You know? I noticed that. Yeah. Completely focused on the, on the vocal. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. It's in the crowd. Yeah. I love it. Well, drinking. Yep. Fit in when you can. So, definite change of register. Yeah. And registers and styles all the way through the song. Floor does absolutely effortlessly. Yeah. She transitions beautifully between gears and her yeah. like emotional intent behind the singing as well. Oh, absolutely. I do love how this section builds. Mm -hmm. What a setting to sing that song. Yeah. Mm. It works perfectly live. No, it's just picking up. Matches perfectly with the music. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I really like about this. Like, considering the amount of instrumentation they had available to them, I really like the quieter bits because they actually go quite reserved. They don't go mm. balls to the walls with just filling it in with every no. different type of instrument they can. You know, a lot of it there is just strings, bass, and guitar, and obviously there's other bits, but it's really tasteful. It isn't just like a metal band taking that kind of approach and energy and then just shoving shitloads of <laughs> orchestration into it. Mm -hmm. Like, they're really, really controlling and taming what they're doing. Mm. And it works nice. It gives it this real reserved kind of oomph and power that you don't hear in a lot of bands. And I, I think it's definitely got that symphonic feel, though. It's, yeah. it's you know, it's that build. It's yeah. The, something you'd hear in a movie. Yeah, and everything you hear, like, with the way her vocal sits, the way she's building, the mm. dynamics to what she's doing on a lot of different subtle levels. Mm. And it matches perfectly, like, where it comes in with the guitar swells and stuff. It's just really masterfully done. Beautifully, beautifully done. Few bands are that good that they can play with that kind of tightness, with mm. the feel and the dynamics of what they're doing. And to maintain that kind of feel while playing to a click as well, yeah. they got tons on tape, obviously, yeah. or tape, whatever <laughs> you Anybody who has ever been to see this band knows yeah. they've got a lot on tape. Absolutely, but it's so artfully done. And if there's ever a band that you can use the argument for, you know, does playing to a backing track or whatever, you know, make for mm. a shit band or something, Nightwish is the answer to that question. Mm. They use it beautifully. They use it wonderfully. Everything's really well done with what they're doing. Should we continue? Let's continue. Here we go. Guitar solo. Off she goes. Off for a drink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Smart girl. Mm -hmm. Red wine, oh. <laughs> the smallest member of the group. Yeah, he's <laughs> the only guy in that band below six feet. <laughs> Oh, he's well into that. No. Oh, there's the sex face. His guitar <laughs> faces are amazing. <laughs> Second only to Steve Vai. <laughs> uh, it's a really reserved solo as well. You mm. think we go balls to the wall or something, but it's, again, very tasteful. It's slick. Mm. Just still keeping it smooth. And this is like symphonic, you know. Yeah. It, it's almost, you could imagine a, it being in the cinema and the film coming up. Yeah, um, for sure. They put on a hell of a show with the lighting, with mm. everything. It's all so well tied together. We have to get one of those screens. We do. Yep. Yep. I agree. They're all off drinking backstage. Hmm. The lucky bastards. <laughs> it's alright, we can do that. Oh, I can. But then, okay. you know, we, we're playing at smaller venues, so like, I've got a drink on stage in front of people, which is less classy. I'm alright with it, I'm just putting it out there. Oh, you obviously don't know the hand trick then, do you? Oh, is it? No, I do not. Uh, the, um... Ah, I see. Yeah. So much yeah. to learn. <laughs> so little time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he comes. Here's Andy. 
He really does look like that. <laughs> he does. It's quite freaky. I'll get a picture of him. I'll bug him up when he's in the, you know, bandana. It's quite freaky at a glance. And this kicks in so well. Playing this is amazing fun. Mm. Yeah. You can tell they're all really feeling this. Yeah. They've got that awe about yeah. them, haven't they? Loving the crowd. I mean, look how many people are there. They yeah. Are. Gosh. I'm struggling not to sing now. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Yeah, just getting ready. Yeah. Oh, that bit sounds so good. From classical to rock yeah. in four bars. <laughs> I know, right? Seamless. Phenomenal. And she knows she's done a good job when she goes, Blink. Yeah. And she's like, yeah. It's got that swagger to it, doesn't yes. it? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love the fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hell of a show. Mm hmm. And when you can hear the crowd, you know it's loud. Yep. <laughs> it's a hell of a performance. It really is. It is. It's got to be one of their best performances this. Yeah. At this at this concert. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go, opera. Yep. So on point. I think I'll pause it here before we get to the end. Everything about them is just mm -hmm. a tightly refined machine, mm -hmm. which you can tell they've been using, you know, playing to click track for ages, and they're so comfortable with the solidness of everything. Because the whole damn show is so tightly choreographed around that, you know, and it really gives this unity and solidness with everything from like pyro, mm -hmm. where that detonates the lighting. And they're so in tune with the music and they're so able to just focus on what they're doing. You really feel the vibe mm -hmm. of what's going on, even through a you know bloody low quality YouTube clip. Mm -hmm. You can feel just how powerful that must have been live. We can see, you can just see it by the crowd. Yeah. The and crowd I are fixated. They're all staring at the stage. Yeah. A hundred percent, you know, and, and a crowd that big, you mm. rarely see yeah. such a tension, yeah. you know? For um, sure. It's a, they're feeling it together, aren't they? It's, it's an unbelievably brilliant. unifying type of performance mm. there because the raw power and vibe they're putting out is just so well done. Like I say, technically, emotionally, everything. And that's what I really like seeing Nightwish in this kind of setting. Like, they're so comfortable with what they're playing. They're not having to think about it, they're just emoting with what they're doing. And especially Floor, as the lead singer, having to channel that kind of feel. And she does it beautifully, even here fairly early on mm. in her career with them. And she gets much more comfortable later on as well, but you can just feel the raw power she's mm. got vocally as well. And I really like that in listening to her voices, it builds through the piece. Because she's got that kind of raw aggression and oomph behind her vocals. And because she starts out so delicate, so restrained in a way, and they all do musically, but mm. it builds. And you can just feel mm -hmm. they've got that much wiggle room to grow mm. towards the end. And it, it's a phenomenal piece. It, it, it's funny when you listen to uh, solo stuff, the, mm. the recent solo stuff that Paul's doing. Um, it's just so much softer, mm. more formal almost. Yeah, yeah, I, I know think. what you mean. So she's kind of going that route. But yeah. she uses a whole arsenal in this song. Yeah, for you sure. Know, I, I don't think I've ever heard a singer do all of those different styles, use their registers in that yeah. way. And again, from going one to the other, really, really seamlessly. Oh, effortlessly, and, yeah. you know, the, the practice she must have put in. Yeah, sheer phenomenal. drilling. Again, they're she just... She had a... to do it really, really quickly, didn't she? Yeah, oh, bless her, mm. she did. They're just a complete bloody unit between them, a complete machine-like efficient unit musically, all of them individually and as a whole. 
And yeah, Floor in particular, like I love hearing her talk about vocal technique because mm. I think she largely comes from the approach of CVT, which I don't know if you've dabbled with CVT mm. much, but not massively. They kind of just mm. there's these different sounds to the voice, mm. and you can hear she's fully explored that compared to some other styles of vocal technique that kind of where you got these scales and you got this kind of approach. Like she's definitely spent a lot of time exploring and developing all these different sounds mm. and gears in her voice. You can hear it because she moves through them effortlessly mm. like nothing sounds difficult for her there aren't any walls she's hitting vocally in any no. kind of way either in terms of range or power or the sound she's going for no she's she's been um i've listened to her in a few interviews and mm. she's talked about the vocal efforts that she's made and she really has yeah done lots of different styles and you know she's she's studied hard she's studied yeah. a long time clearly different yeah. areas you know done lots of things probably people don't even realize yeah um, she's had quite. She's got quite a varied CV. That mm. that lady. Yeah. I would recommend you know if you're interested in Floyd Hansen, go off and do some research because it's super interesting. Yeah, there's it plenty really to is. find with her, and that backs up the point I like to make with these reaction videos. These things, they're skills you learn. They're not mm. just gifts. Even the people that kind of have it innately, it takes work. It mm. takes practice. It's a skill you have to work on it. And these singers, they they sound inhuman. They're not. It's a human voice making those kinds of noises, just at an incredibly high level. It's practice. It's practice. It's study. It's hard work. Keep at it. It's worth it. Shall we continue? Let's continue. Finish the song. Let's do it. Olivia. Here we go. <laughs> the climax of the piece. Oh, sultry. I know. <laughs> I would. I'll tell you. I, I probably would. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's floor before her tattoos. Yeah. Mm. Oh, look at that, the crowd, that woman in the crowd. I know. Totally immersed. Look at this control again. Just still. Beautiful kind of mix still. she's going for there. Mm. That control. Her mouth's open just so much. She's yep. really controlling her breath there. Every facet of what she's doing mm. is deliberate, yet instinctive yep. as well. And it just sounds natural, doesn't it? Yeah. Amazing. So much technique. Here we go. That's it. So <laughs> They know it's coming to an end. <laughs> mm. Here we go. Here we go. Look at that mouth. Wow. Let's get that resonance. Big resonant chamber. And I love this moment. She knows she's done a good job. Yeah, and the and crowd knows like, it too. Come on. <laughs> Look at her. I did it. Yes. <laughs> Almost pigeon chested. It's like, yes. Yeah. I did Hell it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love feeling that with her every time I watch this. Oh. I love the ending. And the first thing she does is, and um, yep, there it is. Oh, so humble. Phenomenal performance, really phenomenal. What I love the most, that I'd like to point out there, is they don't go gratuitous with no. the ending. Like <laughs> it would be a very, very natural, easy thing to do when you're building that kind of power towards the end of that piece to just. Guitar player goes and wanks off mm. a billion notes a second type <laughs> ending and just pure that, yeah. thrashiness. Like it, it would fit naturally, but they don't yeah. do that. They it's just again finished. they rein it in, it sits with the tone of the rest of the piece, mm. even though you're building that kind of raw, heavy metal type power and energy. They sit with that more reserve. It's almost like a regal kind of quality. It is. It, cl it cleverly brings you back to where you started. Yeah. I think that's very much so. While still that, maintaining that, the energy yeah, without definitely. dropping back to, you yeah. know, in terms of dynamics or power. Mm -hmm. And it works beautifully. Again, vocally, powerhouse performance. Like, there's so much going on there. We could talk for hours about uh, that. Yeah. We could ramble forever. But again, if you want to understand more about that, she covers it a lot of it on her own channel. Mm -hmm. She goes into those kind of details. And it's really interesting as a singer as a musician, as an artist, or as just someone that 
you know, likes developing skills and seeing other mm -hmm. people's process. It's fascinating to see her talk so openly about it's it. It's definitely so, a band with a history. Yeah. And there's there's some really good videos on YouTube about the band's history and how Floor came about to actually sing with Nightwish. Yeah. And her journey into the band was really speedy. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Let's put it in mildly. Really speedy. Yeah. Um, was it? She had... Two days, I Roughly believe. Roughly two days to learn the whole set yep. to do a pretty major gig and, yeah. and then talk, then said tour yeah. with the band. Which, like, yeah. I've had to learn set lists on short notice before, but not to play in front of that many people. To put no. it mildly, you know, a much more humble affair. Like, and even that, it's a high-pressure situation. Like, to do that to that level, she's a mm -hmm. beastly vocalist and musician mm -hmm. to be able to accomplish that so competently, so beautifully, and to fit so well afterwards as well. And like, it's, it's not until... You know, we've we've actually tried tried to learn the songs mm. and perfect them, and you know, we we can appreciate how much work actually goes into the yeah. each song, each little nuance, yeah. each time signature. Goodness, it's <laughs> yeah, there's a lot that's going on with these, isn't it? This is definitely not your run of the mill cover band material. As if anyone watching <laughs> this needs telling, it's a powerhouse of a band, and they're unbelievably musically capable and aware and accomplished. And each of them, like I say, each individual piece of this unit is just machine-like with what they're doing. And they play so well, so effortlessly, they don't have to think about what they're doing. They're so practiced up, they are so well drilled in, that you can feel they're able to just emote what they're doing. They're just feeling the music and playing, because everything's on autopilot, they're so well done. Mm -hmm. They've worked so well on it, the prep is so well done, and... Like, I don't think you see too many bands like that, honestly. Like... Plenty of bands are well rehearsed, but this is so on another level from the average. It is, it is, and I think because so much goes into the music, mm. you know, that there's so much going on, so many layers. Yeah. And yes, they've got their tracks, but they do offer still a lot on top of that when they're live. Yeah, for sure. As anybody who's seen them live will appreciate. Yeah. The videos honestly don't do them any justice whatsoever. I don't no. think. You know, the their <clears throat> the whole vibe, you know, coming across mm. uh, when you see them live is is just totally different. Yeah. It's just totally different. They really are really, I don't know, seasoned, experienced yeah. musicians. And then they come on, by the time they get on stage, like you said before, they're just enjoying themselves. So yeah. you get taken in on that. And they smile. Yeah. You know? They enjoy and it. And they're enjoying it. And it reminds yeah. me a lot of like, uh, you know, when Van Halen got Sammy Hagar on board. And because they'd done a lot of being yeah. that really fast, powerful rock band, they kind of laid back a bit and they experimented a bit more with music. And obviously it's a drastically different type of music, but... It has that similar kind of mm -hmm. incredibly capable singers and musicians relaxing into what they're doing yeah, type feel, that. if you know what I mean. And it's a pleasure to watch as a musician, just as a mm. punter with wanting to watch a good band. It's just phenomenally wonderful to see. It is. a phenomenal band, and that's an incredible performance. That's one of the best performances from any band ever. It is for me, and I can't wait to get it on stage. Yes. We are starting to try to get this tribute band to go. COVID slowed things down a bit, but we're finally starting to get it rolling. So I will put some links somewhere in the description towards our social media stuff. And hopefully over the next year, we'll start getting that going. It would be great if any of you watching wanted to check that out and judge brutally as the internet does. Feel free. We're big boys and lady. Yes. Yeah. We can take the criticism. So yeah, feel free to check that out and let us know what you think. Thank you very much for joining us, guys. I've really enjoyed this. Thank you, Dawn. Thank and you lovely doing this with you. Thanks and for having me. Yeah, I'm sure we'll do many more. Cheers again, guys. Take care till next time. Take care. Bye.